Hey neighbor, welcome back to another episode of The Think Tank. This is a series where I take something that's been on my mind in the world of music and then I turn it into a discussion video like this. Is it fair to say that there's an unspoken concert etiquette handbook? A little guide, a little step-by-step -step tutorial to just among each other be able to get along at a concert experience. There's certain things that you just don't do, like you don't take a 12-pack of Bud Light and toss it at the stage or at anyone else in the audience. And you also don't hold up your phone in front of somebody else's face, thus ruining the entire experience for them because you were trying to get a grainy, out-of-focus clip with terrible lighting that you'll never actually use, look back at more than once per year, and no one that you post it to is really actually watching the whole thing because, get this, most people probably don't care. But beyond that, I feel that there is the thing with the cell phones where we obviously know that certain things are rather rude to do, especially around other people. Filming with flash, obviously, for the performer. That's a no-no. That's a definite no-no. Off limits entirely. Don't do that. But also, I feel like there's this thing where it's like, if you're going to film, maybe don't be like the person that's just like up above your head, just trying to get the shot and you're like, oh, 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 I'm getting it. Here we go, here we go. And you're just blocking everybody else's view at the same time. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because I recently attended at PNC Park in Pittsburgh. I went to the Metallica, Ice Nine Kills, Greta Van Fleet show. And this whole concert is obviously a fantastic show. I mean, that lineup, it's crazy. It was just a one-off for that date. And I'm super bummed that I didn't get one of the awesome Metallica posters that they made for that date. But Outside of that, I feel like the show went really well, other than I noticed something kind of funny, but also kind of really sad at the same time. One of the guys kind of sitting adjacent to me, in front of me, in the row below. Shout out to Spencer from Eyes Nine Kills, by the way, for hooking myself and my fiance Hannah up for the show. Got us on the guest list, got us in. That was super awesome of him to do, but nonetheless, I digress. The guy in front of us, uh, Hannah and I started to notice, we're like, wow, this guy is like firing off a ton of Facebook posts throughout the night. And this guy proceeds to post uh, Metallica taking the stage in 50 minutes, taking the stage in 45 minutes. So we decide to look up this guy's Facebook because he's holding both his Apple Watch and his iPhone like so high up in front of us that how can we not see everything on his screen? We see his name, it's a pretty uncommon first and last name and we find him and we go check out his page to see that he's updating like constantly, incessantly with every little move of the concert. And it made me think about the bigger implications of that. Like, okay, obviously this is not just him. Metallica start to walk on the stage. And I would say 80% of the crowd instantly, like zombies, just lift their little device up in the sky for the exact same clip that's going to be viewed by two people as they scroll by it on your story. And I know that I post little clips to my Instagram stories sometimes when I go to shows, usually just like a little 15 second clip for each band that I see. So I'm not trying to say that you should never film ever at a concert or anything like that. Don't be a dick about it. But at the same time, it's totally up to you. And I think it's totally fine if that's what you want to do, what you want to share. I'm not saying that no one cares. I'm saying that no one cares when you're posting like 80 things all in a row, like just constantly. If you look at somebody's Instagram, Snapchat story, whatever, and it's just concert, 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 loud, muffled audio, distant band that you can't even tell who it is because you're in the nosebleeds. It's just things that people go all out for. They feel like they have to get this because to share or to remember, I understand the remember side of that, but to constantly share, it's where I get back to the picture of everybody mindlessly lifting up the phone to start filming because it's like, oh, Metallica are coming on and everyone else is doing that. I do that as well, I guess. I need to film this. And it got me thinking about not only the guy sitting in front of me, but just uh, all of these people that I feel like act like that to a degree where it's like, this sense of I'm at a show, so I need to show everybody every little thing. Who cares if none of these posts are getting 
any engagement all, at all. It's zero likes, zero retweets. It doesn't matter. I'm going to keep sharing in the hopes of virality, in the hopes of getting some sort of positive affirmation. And I feel like that's so, so sad that we've gotten to that point in time, to that place where it feels like validation from strangers means more than a compliment from our own family member or friend. It's like, I did this for some cloud online, I got some likes on TikTok, whatever, and I had my little moment in the sun where my 15 minutes of fame burned up faster than the wings off of, well, you know the story about flying too close to the sun in Icarus. But the whole point is, oversharing, overdoing it, especially at things like concerts, at places like that. It's just like, please, knock it off. Dial it back a little bit, because it seems to me like this, in the past 10 years, has swallowed us whole, and in many ways has kind of disengaged me from concert experiences. Not to say that it's a total out of body, I don't even recognize this thing, but at the same time, when people are just all standing around you, just mindlessly watching this amazing show through this teeny little screen, trying to make sure that they get every little detail right. Oh, I gotta make sure the auto lock is on on my iPhone so that people can see the lighting on this video that's shot from half a mile away. It's just hilarious, the, the lengths that people will go to. And again, at the end of the day, I know, let people do what they wanna do, what they're gonna do, whatever. Just some observations that I've had, obviously not just at the Metallica concert, but at concerts I've been attending, especially for the past five years, I know you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, smaller shows are generally a lot better. I went to see Wolf Alice earlier this year, and cell phones, distractions like that were not a problem at all. The crowd was incredible, and I feel like it's kind of palpable in the room. People are susceptible to following what the other is doing, and it's not just, obviously, that aspect of life, but many others, too. Allow me to pass the question over to the neighborhood, because I'm genuinely curious. I want to hear from you guys. Do you have your own little concert etiquette playbook or a rule book that you subconsciously or kind of silently follow? Let me know in the comments section. Start the discussion because I feel like this is something that's been on my mind for a while and maybe this Metallica concert was just the final spark that was like, all right, I want to talk about this, but I want to know what is frustrating and what's a positive for you at a show. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then please hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when I post future episodes of The Think Tank and much more. If you want to see more like this of me just kind of thinking out loud, then tap this playlist here or tap here for a recent video. Socials in the description and I'll be back soon for more on Beyond ARTV.